Hey guys at MDTV, it's Dave Mad Max 6 with an episode of Muscle Beach TV and we have my good friend Jill Rudison back on the show. Uh, hi Jill, hi. how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> You're really lean, really ready to go. How yes. much time do we have before the next show? This is uh, uh, T-minus eight days, no, yeah, eight days. Yeah, we're eight April, days are we Today's the is the April 3rd. 3rd, mm -hmm. okay. So LA Grand Prix. LA Grand Prix. Right next to home. Right next to home, here <laughs> in my backyard. I'm not letting anybody come in and take this from me. I'm gonna try at least real hard. So, it has it been about a year since we talked last time? Has it been that, that long? I think so. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. It's crazy, huh? A lot has happened since last year. So tell it's me a little so bit much. how last year was for you. It was, uh, you did a lot of shows. How many shows last year? Seven shows wow. last year. Wow, that's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, in, how, in how much time? Um, well, I, I kicked off my season. I did my pro debut at the Grand Prix. Right. And then when I placed, I placed fourth place there. And that was my first show. Was so, awesome. I mean, you know, I, I got so points right that. out of the start gate. Yeah. So, once I had those points, it was like, okay, I got points. I, I gotta keep going. <laughs> so, you know, I just I kept going. And, Collect those points. Yeah, and I just kind of chased the, the shows across the country and into Canada. And wow. um, I did the Grand Prix, and then I did the New York Pro. I did the Toronto Pro. That's right. And I placed fifth at Toronto. With your friend Jill, Jilly Jill. Yes, with Jilly Jill. Okay. And then uh, after Toronto, I did Chicago. Mm -hmm. Then I did Tampa, then I did Dallas. Wow. Is that seven? I think that's seven. That's a lot. I don't know, six or seven, I lost count. Whatever, <laughs> it was a lot, lot of shows. Though. It was a, last year should be described as a whirlwind. Yeah. It was awesome, because it was, it was my first year competing as a pro, and uh, it was just, it was an amazing experience, and you know, I, I like, I live for those six minutes we get on stage. Of course. Like, per show, which of is why I do this, so. I love your routines, by the way. Always very polished, and you can tell you put some time into it. It's great. I'm, uh, I, I love, I love watching you. Ooh, uh, then you're in for a place. treat next week. I loved it. I actually, I think it was the first time I saw you in person because I've seen videos. You know, goals always passing videos from you know national contests, but I've never, never, see, never seen you pose in person. So I was really glad I was there for your first one, and I can't wait to go back this year. But tell me, tell me. I mean, you said you had a lot of fun and everything. How was that first year competing as a pro versus competing in the amateur for you last year? Um, What's the big difference? You know, everybody asks, like, what's the difference now between being a pro and being an amateur? Yeah. And I think the difference is, I mean, when you're an amateur, everybody's just fighting for that pro card. It's mm -hmm. like such, it's, you know, that's like... Like a carrot. Yeah, it's the golden <laughs> ring. That's what everybody is fighting for. Yeah. And then once you get it, there's a whole kind of level of stress that just kind of goes away. Because it's yeah. like, you've achieved that goal. Yeah. And granted, like, you're now competing with, like, the best of the best. Yeah. But that mindset that you have where you just have to get that pro card, get that pro card, it's gone. Yeah. So now you just can really focus on being the best athlete that you can be because you can put all your energy and focus into just really bettering yourself and not worrying so much about nabbing that pro so card. So it's better. It's a better feeling. I think so, yes. Yeah. yeah. And that, and I think, you know, and I mean, it would have been nice to have turned pro quickly, mm -hmm. but it took me 10 years and like 20 shows. Mm -hmm. And looking back, I'm grateful that it didn't just happen overnight mm -hmm. because I think I wouldn't appreciate it as much, and yeah. I wouldn't have learned, of, like I wouldn't have learned about myself and the journey and and what makes me tick and why do I do this and all those things. So I mean, I think Bob Chikrola would agree with you. Yeah. So for, <laughs> yeah. Bob so for me, for now, like it's, it's it's really bittersweet to compete as a pro, and it's just great. And the girls that I'm competing with, you know, like the girls are great. They're you know they're awesome. So like it's nice to see them because I don't really like you know we don't really see each other unless right. we're at shows. So mm -hmm. it's like it's nice to like see your girls who like know exactly how you feel because they train the same way you do and it's like a nice little sisterhood. There's a lot of respect going on. between each other. There is. And yeah. that's that's a lot different between the amateur with the amateurs, you know, like people are always like Shh, you know yeah, and, like, yeah. and when you're a pro you're you're way more lax because you know what it's you just to yeah get and you just kinda look out for each other and that's great. you know like it, it, there's a real sisterhood. It sounds, it sounds cheesy, but no, like, there's no, a real no, sisterhood there and it's it's kinda cool. Okay, so now year two as a pro, uh -huh. what has been your mindset versus year one, how did you, you know, you said you got, got it out of your system, you obviously compete a lot, got some experience under your belt, now it's year number two, what's, how's that different than the first year for you? Um, I know my shortcomings and where I kinda, I don't wanna say where I slacked, but I know what things I could have improved on last year, okay. and those are the things that I'm really working hard on this year to make better. Okay. So, you know, yeah, I'm just really kinda fine tuning what needs to be done and detail work and I mean my legs always constant um, yeah you could stop doing I'm, that <laughs> I'm still you know it, it'll never it'll it, that's a that's a never ending project like I you know it, it's my goal to have like the most perfect wheels on earth okay, <laughs> yeah, okay. but uh, you're doing good you're doing yeah. good yeah but I mean it's just it, it's it's 
that and I've just learned to eliminate whatever useless stress mm. I have. I, I just kind of let it go. I'm just letting things go. And they're just going, going up. That's you, I'm getting older. Yeah, you're getting older. It's a good thing. You're becoming wiser. That's yes. Good. Um, all right then. So, how many shows have you planned for this year so far? What if I mean, if I'm sure if you win the LA, that's it. Olympia. You know what? I don't yeah. like have right now. I, I have, and then I, lately I've had a couple people get in my ear and be like, "Well, you shouldn't do this or you should do that." So now I'm just kind of like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, um, right now, my mindset is just in the Grand Prix, the yeah. Grand Prix, and then whatever happens at the Grand Prix, that'll kind of determine What's what will happen after, after that. Yeah. I mean, I you know I would love to go back to the New York Pro. That was a that was a really great show to do last year. Yeah. Um, you know, I thought of, I'm thinking about Shreveport. Um, I kind of like to go do that show. Toronto, I'd love to go back to Toronto. I, I placed there last yeah, year, you yeah. know, so it'd be really great to go back. Yeah. I love Canada. Yeah, you do. Um, floppy heads, they're great people. Um, and then, uh, you know, after that, I'm not sure. And then maybe later down the line in the year, um, maybe the Ferrigno Legacy show. Oh, nice. If, if I can, if I can trudge on that long. Yeah. But you, you always keep yourself in very good condition all year long. I mean, last year is probably the only time where I saw you gain a little bit more weight for uh, by your standards yeah. because you always so ripped all the time. Was there, was it that what you wanted? You wanted to kind of just, or you just took a break? Like, I'm just gonna I just myself. ate like a pig, oh, straight up. I was like, I'm gonna eat like a pig. <laughs> I went to Hawaii, I nice. ate a lot of macadamia nuts, I ate a lot Enjoy of Enjoy yourself. A yeah, I, I ate, you know, I ate, I ate a lot. Good. And, good. and that was cool and it you looked know, good on you, I mean, because you're just so ripped all the time, you know, so. You know, I actually, I, I put on like 20 pounds in yeah, off really? season, and then I took it all off again for, Was know. it hard to um, take it off or no? You know what, it came off pretty easily. Yeah. I was actually surprised it came off as easily as it did, but like you said, I, I try to maintain, and no matter what, even in the off season, I'll yep. always do no fail an hour of cardio a day just because I, I like to stay active. Yeah, it's actually hard to see if you're competing or not, because to me, you always look in striking distance from a show or so, you know, then you get really, really ripped, so. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's Thank good. you. Uh, but um, all right, so tell me a little bit about. I mean, you have a, a lot of stuff going on. I saw you at the Fit Expo, and you had your own booth, and you look so tired that night. And I actually <laughs> told you, my God, you look, you look tired. I didn't mean it to sound like a, a bad thing, but you just look really tired. And and so you had your own booth over there. Yeah. You sell your pants. Talk about yeah. that a little bit. That's um, kind of cool business. I had a business that uh, my accidental business that just kind of happened. Um, Quads not included. It's a legging company. I like that name. Um, That's good. Thank you. And. Uh, and basically, I, I, you know, it's my company. I run it. It's all. It's just me. That's it. How did so, you fall into that? How did you start that? What you know, happened? I bought. I bought those muscle anatomy mm -hmm. pants mm -hmm. for some friends as Christmas presents, like gag gifts. Okay. And um, pretty. It's pretty much Stephanie Rodriguez and Brad Rose fault because they wore them on a Christmas card, and people started asking them, "Where'd you get those pants?" <laughs> and then they gave them my email address, and then I started getting emails, nice. and then. It just kind of took off, and then Stephanie put it on her Instagram, and and there you go. And, and then I just kind of blew media. up. And then yeah. God bless Dana. Dana gave me a shout out, um, and she, like, you know, it was like the golden touch. So thank you, Dana, for that. I appreciate Whoa. it. And um, I've just been really lucky. I've, I've, you know, I've linked up with some really good people, and um, you know, I've put my pants on a lot of fighters, and that's been a really good thing for me to do is to kind of, nice. you know, segue into the fight industry uh -huh, a little more uh -huh. so than the fitness industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I'm working on actually creating like a, a higher line, like a pro line of quads not included that have stronger materials that don't give in and fall apart as easily. Okay. And, uh, so I'm doing things. So where can people find it if they want those those pants? Quadsnotincluded.com. Oh, that's easy. Yeah. Right. Made it really simple. Yeah, and people can also find you on Facebook. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. All that stuff. I'm, I'm here, I'm there, I'm everywhere. Yeah. And um, you know, you'll be seeing a lot more of me this year. I'm, I'm starting to do more more acting roles. Oh, that too, because yes. you're not busy enough. Okay. No, no, <laughs> you get never free busy time. enough running your own company and competing. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, I, I did a, a true crime reenactment show um, not that long ago. That's nice. on the ID network. Oh, nice. And uh, I've got some other tricks up my sleeve. Yeah, you sure. used to be but TV I'm not before. That's your old, I mean, you weren't in front of camera, but you used to do TV before. You, you know mm -hmm. a little bit how it works. And yeah, oh, yeah. I great. come from a production background. Yeah, yeah. Producing. that's right. How, how yes. it works. I found that. I'm a Jill of all trades. Yes, you are. Um, do you want to talk a little bit about who's your team? Who's behind you this year? You have people helping you out? Or are you doing um, everything yourself? Or what's going on? No, I'm working. Well, in the gym, I work with Joanne Lee. Joanne Lee Cornish. You guys um, go way back. We do. Joanne was my very first trainer when I first moved here to She's Venice Beach. She's very sweet. Love her. And, um, so it's been real nice training with her again in the gym because it's kind of been like that full circle. Like, uh -huh. And, you know, Joanne competed in the Olympia herself. She, you know, she's an IFBB pro. Yeah. She very much and she understands. And she still looks great. Yeah, and that's the thing. 
If you want to find yourself a good trainer, Man. go to the gym, scout out the best looking person there that you want to emulate or look like, and then go hire that always person as your trainer. Always and Joanne, no fail. Yeah. Like, I want to be Joanne when I grow up. Yeah. Like, I've always said it. And she's a beautiful <laughs> woman inside and out. She's and awesome. I love her to death. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really happy to be back with okay, her. Good. And then um, I'm working with Shelby Starnes. He's doing my nutrition. Okay. And uh, he's great. And, uh, and I'm really excited to, you know, to work with the, the both of them and, uh, and get dialed in. Yes. Do you need any help with your diet? I mean, do, do you have it, or do you just do you just need like an eye mostly, like you, someone to just bounce ideas? You know, I had heard about Shelby for years mm -hmm. um, through friends and through my ex, and I had heard that he's a genius and yeah. he just he really knows diet and and he's very attentive and he's like this omnipresent man behind the computer as I call him, mm -hmm. but he just you know you send him a picture and he just knows and he just. You know, I've done my last two shows I did in Tampa and Dallas, I did with him also. Okay. And uh, he's just, he, he really is a genius. He can look at me and tell me exactly what to do, and it works wow. every time. And that's great. And he's just great. I, I really I really enjoy working with him. Um, he's, you know, he's always there when I need him on show day. He's attentive and he's on point. So, oh, Shelby okay. Starnes, I highly recommend him. We'll have to remember that name. Yes. Yeah, very good. All yeah. right, Joe. Well, Thank you. I'm glad you came in today. It took time out of your busy day, just yes. eight days out from the show. I know it's uh, it's very uh, uh, last minute and just, yeah, it's uh, for you it's very uh, time crunching right now. So yes. I appreciate you coming. Appreciate and uh, you. I'll, be glad, I'll be glad to see you on stage again very, very shortly at the LA Grand Prix. Good luck, Joe. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Kiss, kiss. <laughs> All right. This is Dave Band Max 6 for another episode of Muscle Beach TV, and we'll catch you next time, you guys.